Hey YouTube. First of all, I'm going to apologize for the slightly shakiness. I'm holding this with my left hand, which I have nerve damage in, so my bad. So update, today is uh, uh, day 11, something like that. Anyways, so I'm basically feeling better. Um, I don't have any breathing issues anymore. Uh, I still have uh, mucus drainage. I like to call this the hack up phase. Basically all the junk I'm getting out of my system and, you know, just hacking the stuff up. Still got a little bit of a cough, but that's mostly just from the, the drainage and getting everything out of the, the sinuses and stuff like that. My hair is getting horrible. I just got out the shower, so it's all wet and long and stuff. I need a haircut, and as you can tell, it's slowly running from my face as I'm getting older and uglier. But uh, kids are doing good. Um, my oldest still has a bit of a cough. <coughs> Chunky. Sorry for the shaky. A uh, bit of a cough. None of them has developed a fever whatsoever. None of them aren't feeling good or anything. Basically just a cough, a little bit of runny nose, and that's it. So they're doing okay. Continue to monitoring. Um, like I said, my basically everything other than the cough and some congestion is gone for me. Uh, so that's good. And like I said, I'm 10 days in from when I started showing symptoms. I uh, wanted to go over a few things that I found helped me through this. So if anyone else is going through the same thing and they're trying to figure out what to do. Um, one, Vicks VapoRub. Good stuff. Yeah, at night helping you out with a bit of stuff. Uh, hot showers. Breaking that stuff up. Just took a nice long hot one myself. Hacked a bunch of shit up in the shower. Great for that. Uh, now for medication wise, a few. I think one person asked me about that. I mean, I'm on... I go to the VA, so I'm on a bunch of different medications for random stuff that's not really associated with this. The only thing I really take that might be of this is I take a generic equivalent to Mucinex because I have small nasal passages. Yeah, being in the military and running with small nasal passages, it's not fun. So I take that. That I don't know if that helped out at all. The only thing else I took is uh, I take uh, 2,400 milligram CBD oil every day for, for chronic pain. Uh, shoulder, arms, backs, knee, stuff like that. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, and that's uh, that's broad spectrum CBD, not hemp oil. That uh, the expensive stuff, you know, it's like 150 bucks a month in it. But I like this stuff; it helps. It's a really good anti-inflammatory. I don't know if that had anything to do with my recovery. Doubt it, but whatever. I take that. Other than that, uh, I received a little teeny mini couplet of st uh, oral steroids when I was at the doctor's when I got tested. No other uh, medications whatsoever. I haven't taken any uh, penicillins. Uh, uh, damn it, had rain for all different types of penicillins, but I haven't taken any, uh, any anything of that nature whatsoever. Just got over it. Um, I know people are thinking, well, hey, if I get stuck, how am I, you know, supposed to get food and stuff of that nature? We actually had to go get a few things the other day. Uh, by the day, I mean yesterday. Uh, so we advised a way of doing so as safely as possible. Uh, what we did is we ordered the curb pickup from Walmart. You know, they just bring it out to your car. So I put a mask on, uh, put gloves on, basically sprayed my whole car down with Lysol. <laughs> Ooh, it stunk. So I had to leave the windows open on the drive over there. And then uh, sprayed down because I got a, I got a SUV where I can open the hatch from inside the car electronically. And just sprayed the hatch down everywhere where you touch inside there. You just good spray down, let the windows open on the way there so I didn't pass out from Lysol fumes. Got there, a uh, guy came to the window and, you know, he said, hey, don't worry, you don't got to sign for it, I'll sign for you. Gave him thumbs up, opened the hatch, left the mask on, you know, everything was pretty well sterilized. I sterilized everything that he'd come in contact with in the back. He put the stuff in. I actually had a couple dollars that I, I <laughs> Lysoled the crap out of hanging from a string back there for me, like $5 tip. With a little note on it that was also Lysol going, hey, don't worry, we Lysoled this for you, it's for you. <laughs> He, he snagged it and laughed. So if you need to get stuff, curbside pickup, just, you know, be smart about it. Um, try to sanitize stuff, you know, whatever. Don't do it when you're immediately sick. Otherwise, if you have friends uh, that, you know, you can disinfect money, leave it somewhere safe where they can go pick it up and go grocery shopping for you. Some of that nature. Big thing, though, is if you are sick, I mean, like I said, I don't think this is nearly the pandemic they're making it out to be, but it is good to try to slow or... Never going to stop the spread of it. Slow the spread of it's a good thing because there are people out there who are immune compromised, people who have leukemia, people who are older or younger or whatever. And, you know, we treat it just like the flu. You know, the fact is the flu does kill 
tens of thousands of people a year here in the United States alone. So if we can just be smart about, you know, communicable transfer of, of viruses and pathogens and diseases and things of that nature, you know, like I live in Killeen, you know, anyone in this area, you don't go to wild country and go have unprotected sex with a girl you meet at wild country. It's, it's a common sense thing. You don't want your stuff to shrivel up and fall off. Smart living. So if you're sick, if you're really sick, you know, and you absolutely need something, you know, you can get, uh, Food delivered to your house temporarily if you need to. You know, what we came up with an idea for, if we absolutely needed to do that, is take a, a little stand, milk crates, uh, table, whatever, lice all the crap out of it, put special instructions going, hey, I'm sick, leave it on the table, and then they'll just set the food on the table, ring the doorbell, walk off, and then when they're clear, you can grab your food. I mean, that's good for a day or two, just order... You know, order Chinese food you can reheat or order something, uh, you know, pizza you can reheat. Something of that nature ahead. So you got a couple days worth of food as a temporary thing. And then once you get better enough where you can do curbside or if you can have a friend who can pick something up for you. If you live out in the country and, you know, you just kind of SOL on that one, you got to advise another plan. That one, I mean, I'm sure you can come up with something, but it's one of those unfortunate kind of deals when you can't get delivery or curbside pickup. You got to... You got to figure something out. I'm pretty sure you could call a store and tell them, hey, I'm sick. Here's what I need. Can I pay over the phone with my credit card? And you guys leave it in a box out front. I'll be in this car. Just leave it next to the car. I'll get out, pick it up, put it in my car. I'm, I'm sure right now with everything going on, businesses are more than willing to work with people because of the current situation. So the big thing is just be smart about it and figure out a way to work around stuff. So that way, you know, you're not uh, infecting people. You know, sound like a plague rat. Anyways, um, so yeah, doing good. Family's doing good. Kid's got a cough. Other kid, he coughs a little bit, but he also fakes cough for attention a lot. He does that. I'm not coughing. <laughs> Thing. Um, wife is doing good. You hear my oldest kid. He, I said cough, so you know he heard it, so he's got a cough. Um, questions, comments, concerns, leave in the comments section. Um, I know some people are going to be like, oh, you can't say COVID-19 because you're going to be demonetized. I've never been monetized. I do not monetize my videos. I do not care about making money off YouTube. I do not care about YouTube fame. I do not care about being recognized on the street as, hey, you're that fat guy that says you're not fat, whatever. Uh, on YouTube, I only care about spreading information, helping people out in multiple facets. One, cars. Two, gun rights and guns. And then now, now I guess this, because it just happened to, you know, plop on my lap. So... Leave comments if you got any questions or you want to make fun of me and say I look really fat right now. Yeah, I've gained like 10 pounds in two weeks from being a lazy ass. My, I have the, yeah, pretty much fat boy. So, yep, y'all have a good one. Bye.